Hello and welcome back to 100 Info. In this video, I will show you how to set up drivers for Logitech MX Master 4. Let's begin. Okay, so in the previous video of the tutorials, we've managed to connect our mouse here with the USB stick, or in other words, the Logi Bolt. But how can we actually install the dedicated software for the mouse? Well, luckily for us, we have this little fancy instructions that we have managed to see uh, right on the mouse. And you can see that no matter how we actually connecting the mouse itself, is it the Bluetooth or the Logi Bolt, we should have it right here on the mxsetup.logi.com. So, if we actually go and if we um, set up the site here, we have this. Actually, let me simply readjust it just a little bit. And of course, to, well, not say that I'm lying to you, I will try to type, in, type it in right now. So once again, it is just simply MX setup. So MX setup.logi.com and you should see that we should see this side right here now in here you want to simply go and go into yes help me connect alternatively you could go into no i'm ready to customize and now you have the uh, ability to download the drivers but if you have troubles actually connecting to your connecting your own uh, your own mouse you can always go into here so once again I, all I did was to instead of I'm ready to customize going to yes help me connect going to mouse as you can see we can connect via bluetooth or we can go into using a receiver no matter exactly what we're going to do we can always go twice right here and we can also go and see the install logi option plus and here we can see the install buttons so once again no matter the way for you to actually get that link it will be always the same link so now i will install it for windows 10 or later and as you can see i am downloading this uh, drivers here and let's simply click and start installing them so we have logi options let's go into install options plus and now it is downloading and we want to wait for a moment of course this application isn't really that big and in any moment now we should see that the drivers themselves or drivers well it's, uh, this device doesn't really need drivers instead it actually has dedicated software because as you can see it is working fine without them have without them being installed and as you can see now we have our logi here or logi I'm not, I have I'm not sure exactly how to spell it out we can make it a little bit smaller and we can help them make logi options better this is basically asking you to send the diagnostic usage data which I'm not going to do and now we can be the first in the line oh by the way I forgot but I can enable the to logo here nice can be uh, first in the line I'm going to go into skip because I'm not a big fan of setting up a million different um, abilities and as you can see here we can see our mouse here you can go into its settings or you can just click it and we have this beautiful meet MX master and you can go through the process of setting up so you can go into set pointer speed we can also extend the range uh, to quite a lot so now yeah we are we are moving our cursor very very fast so let's maybe lower it down just a little bit i think it was 50 and we can go just go go and continue with the setup we have two different two different screen modes we can click it to shift the mode from uh this uh, from this line by line into the free spinning mode, which is quite interesting. We can continue with the ability to go into gestures. And as you can see here at the side of the mice, we have you know, the mouse, we have a few different options. We can go here and, for example, see our virtual desktops by the default. And as you can see, we can even hold and move left. So I think this should do 
Oh, that's interesting. Yep. This should change the entire screens. I'm pretty sure the screen actually started. You can also go into start menu and we can even show or hide desktop. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Wait, I'm trying to use the gesture to show my show me the desktop, but I think okay, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Um, but yeah, it is pretty pretty interesting thing. And of course, we can also go to the task view here. And let's just leave the uh, gestures for now. And we also have the haptic sides panel and we can go into push the button and open action ring. We can adjust buttons sensitivity to the points, scroll and press settings and we have a bunch of other things. But as you can see, whenever I click this, uh, this space here, I can see the little circle and there are plenty of different options. We even have a nice customization for the system volume, which we can use. We can customize by using scroll bar actually, which is pretty, pretty handy. Same thing goes with playing, with googling, with locking the screen, and with replying with ChatGPT. And we can also change the screen brightness, but I believe this only works for laptops. And we have the ChatGPT shortcut, which is pretty funny to see at least. And now we have uh, the ability to customize the haptic feedback intensity. Let's leave it as this. And we have the action ring, but I have, I have already showed you this. But it's very important to note that we can actually go to custom rings. And for example, here we have the one for the Photoshop, which is quite wild, to be honest. And now with that, we should be gone. We can also go into login and install plugins. So as you can see, we have some DaVinci Resolve plugins, but there is not really a point for installing them because we'll have a completely different tutorial dedicated just to plugins only. So I will go into continue with plugins and yeah, we are all set. And as you can see, this is how it looks. We can always add some new applications. So with different applications, we'll have different shortcuts I and mean, we can always just customize the shortcuts here and there are many many different shortcuts especially with the gestures and the action rings so yeah that's all for this video as you can see that was quite a lot but of course if you want to learn more about the Netflix master application itself just remember to like and subscribe the video and Remember, if you are, it makes us support the channel and it makes us very, very happy. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's all for this video. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!